What's up guys, welcome to episode 26. It is Coded Red here, and today's episode we're talking about dependencies. Something in your plugin that depends on another plugin. Now there's a lot of different API, API out there that are pretty good, and today's episode we're talking about Poppy, which is placeholders API. It basically connects all different placeholders from all around, all different plugins. So you can use placeholders from Vault in your holograms, placeholders from Essentials in your holograms, or wherever else. And we're talking about how to use placeholders from API from that plugin in your own plugin. So what I did here is I went ahead and I created my plugin real quick. This is the main class. And basically what the plugin does is whenever someone joins the server, they get sent a message. Now there's two different messages that they can be sent. There's the actual join message. And there's one that has poppy in it, poppy join event. Now, if I go into my join event real quick, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It sets a basic, basic message and it just says, welcome to the server and then sends their name. Welcome to the server, Coded Red, whatever. This is gonna, this is gonna be our join message when someone, when the plugin is running on a server that doesn't have Placeholders API installed. Now, what if the server has Placeholders API installed? Then we're going to run this right here. And what this is, is this message right here has placeholders in it. And basically, I stole this right from the uh, API tutorial on the Poppy website. And it's going to change these placeholders into meaning something. It's going to say, coded red, join the server. The rank is blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm going to teach you guys how to use it. But more importantly, I put this in separate classes because it's really important. If you have something that uses API and it doesn't depend on the API, now this plugin right here doesn't depend on Placer's API because we have a secondary solution for it. If it doesn't depend on it, let's put all Placer's API stuff in its own class. We don't want someone who doesn't have Poppy installed to see Poppy stuff. All right. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the Placeholders API website. So right here, all the links will be in the description below. And you want to download the plugin. Go ahead and download the plugin. So this is how we're going to add it to our plugin we're coding. Once you download the plugin, you can scroll down and you can read all this information about it. But we're going to go to API usage. And in here, you'll see actually how to import it's really basic stuff and it shows you how to do everything it's really showing you how to do what we're doing and you'll see there's three different ways to import placeholders api to your plugin the first way is using maven the second way is using gradle and the third way is import it manually and this is what we're going to do and i'll go over maven in a future video we'll talk about creating a maven project and all that but if you don't know what maven is don't worry it's not that big of a deal we're going to add it in this way. And if you notice, this is the same way you add it in using when you add in spigot, same exact way. That's all we're going to do. I also have this tab open to show you guys. If you don't know what PlaySource API does, there's hundreds or probably thousands. There's thousands of placeholders from all different plugins connected into here. All right. So now, in the plugin you want to add this placeholders API to, go ahead and right click on it. Go down to properties. I know you can't see it, but go click on properties. And we're going to add external jars and we're adding in that placeholders API. Once you add that in, let's go ahead and look at the next step. The next step is the actual depend in the plugin.yml. So now we have this new thing added to our plugin.yml, and that's a soft depend and a depend. Like I said, the soft depend is something that your plugin, it, yes, it quote unquote depends it for certain features, but you do not need to have this plugin installed on your server to run this join message. Now, if you had depend written, that means your plugin depends on it and it will not run without said plugin we're going to get rid of this because all we want to do is make a soft depend of it because it could use placeholders api 
for more features, I guess I would say. Next thing you wanna do, go into your main class. And we're gonna type some code here real quick. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. So I have two different events here. One event only runs if they have PlaySource API installed. So we need to check if they have PlaySource API installed. So we're gonna say if bucket dot get plugin manager and this is how you get all the different plugins on the server we're gonna say get plugin we're gonna pass the name in of placeholder api i want to say if that doesn't equal null then that means they have that plugin installed and we can go ahead and copy this and if it does equal null let's go ahead and copy this one there we go so if they had Plisher's API installed, go ahead and run the poppy join event. If they don't, go ahead and run the normal join event. And we are done with the main class. Next, let's jump into our actual poppy join event. So this is the class that we want to handle these join, these placeholders, these join placeholders. And we want to change these two. So to change the string, and this will work for lore or whatever you want to use it on, what you're going to need to do is type in the name of your string, join text, set it equal to placeholder API dot set placeholders. And you'll see you need two different parameters here, a player and the text, and it can be an offline player, but we're gonna say event dot get player. And the text is gonna be the uh, actually just join text, the text that we're setting it to. And then once you have that in, it'll go ahead and set the join message and you're done. And that's it. And this is what I talked about before. This import right here, the only way this import will work if, is if the server has Placeholders API installed. So that's why I mean put Placeholders API in its own class and then check if you're able to see that class. If you have this import in your main class, and the server doesn't have Placeholders API installed, you could run into some errors. Just from personal experience, I ran into many errors like that before. All right, and uh, we're all done now. Let's go ahead and I'll start my server and I'll show you guys how it works. All right, so now with my Minecraft loaded up, if I go ahead and join the server, I removed Placeholders API, so if I join the server, you'll see I get the basic message that I put in of welcome to the server cmax i get this oops, i get this welcome to server cmax message now if i go ahead if you see pl i don't have placers api installed but if i go ahead and i install placers api real quick all right so now with placers api installed on my server the first thing you want to do to make sure those placers that i put in work is type in slash poppy ecloud and here you can see all the different commands that you can run. And we're gonna run a download. So we're gonna we're gonna download and we're gonna download vault. And we're going to download player. And next, of course, poppy reload. And that will register our placeholders for our join event. And just in case, we'll just type a reload in there to make sure everything works pretty nice. And now I can go ahead and leave the server, join back, and you'll see I get that placeholders API message that we set CMAX on the server, the rank is default. These two right here are straight from placeholders API. As you can see, that's our message, and then we changed it with placeholders API. Thank you guys for watching. This is all I have for you guys in today's episode. If you have an idea or you want to see something in the next episode, let me know in the description below, or you can go ahead and join my Discord. We have a wonderful community of learners and people that can help you out with anything. No question is a dumb question, believe me. We're all learners here. So go ahead and join the community, and I have a channel in there. You can go ahead and suggest videos. Thank you guys for watching again. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.